isn't the simple solution, curiously enough, and it's referred to in the manifesto and it's clearly referred to by both the Prime Minister and the Home Secretary, that we craft and pass through Parliament a UK Bill of Rights that enshrines all the stuff within the European Convention on Human Rights about protecting the rights of the individual, etc., 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 but we make it a statement of UK law, England and Scotland, with separate judicial systems. Therefore, it is entirely defensible within the UK courts. You still do the right thing, but you police it in a UK way. Well, that actually is what I'm advocating. I think yeah. that is exactly the answer. And successive Conservative uh, uh, Party manifestos have promised to bring forward a new Bill of Rights. It looks like one is finally uh, about to appear, and we'll see whether it actually addresses these problems, Alistair. But that is the way to go, because it, it, we don't have a written constitution on a single piece of paper, but we have some very strong constitutional principles, and one is the sovereignty of Parliament. The Human Rights, uh, the European Convention on Human Rights, as being enacted by the European Court on Human Rights, is now starting to uh, uh, in, uh, infringe on that sovereign right, as it is also doing to uh, uh, English common law. And the notion that a single member of the European Court of Justice, a single judge, can of an evening, because he is on duty, issue an interim order, an interim order, not a definitive order, not a reading of the court, which then stops the Rwandan flight, is absurd. It's ludicrous. And actually, if I'd been a government advisor at the time, I would have said to them, fly the bloody plane anyway, because this is just an interim order. Stick with the English Constitution. Stick uh, with the English common law. After all, we'd done due process through our legal system beforehand. The Europeans hadn't.